Hey guys, today we're crafting. I'm sure we'll be using glitter. Maybe we'll do some painting. Do these colors suit me? Hmm. Should we do some pop art? I don't know what we're gonna craft today, but let's get started. This is a member shout out for Ozzy Christine. Thank you so much for joining our channel. So I have another can. I had just loosely painted with some paint I had left over from a paint pour. And now we're going to just rub a little more paint on. And make it look a little maybe antique-y. I don't know. Um, and then we're going to make something fun out of this. Okay, I took my drill and I just decided to make some holes. It's easy enough to make the holes. The only problem is, guys, try to make sure that the drill goes in a few different ways. You don't want the outside to be prickly. Um, and I made two holes here that are smaller than the rest of the holes. As you see on the inside, it's... Um, don't put your hands in there. <laughs> You could probably sit and sand it, but the thing is, you're not going to be putting your hands inside, really. So, and up here, I was figuring we'd put a chain to, like, hang it, and we'd put some faux flowers in it. But first, we're going to paint it again, uh, because, yeah, we, of course, because I sanded a little bit where the holes were, just to make sure the outside to the touch, you wouldn't get hurt, um... It sanded off a lot of the paint, even though this was just a base coat of paint. So let's do our top coat. So, okay, guys, I'm just doing this. Turn it over so it stops you from trying to put your hands on the inside. And just tap the blue paint, and that's going to be our first coat. So here's what it's looking like thus far. So I put the blue, and right before the blue dried, I put a little brown so it could kind of mix. But it kind of looks rustic and older. And I put some chain inside just on the top because that's where we're going to hang it. So basically, that's what I did. I put some chain. That little piece with the fairy will go on the outside when it dries. Um, but just so we have a little hanging focal point so when that all dries we can hang it and we'll put our fairy lights in and some flowers it should be adorable okay so I decided to put this on the inside only because you'd see it too much because this is a bigger box if I had one of the thinner ones I probably would have put it on the outside and I made sure the top was where I can press it <clears throat> And I'm going to put a succulent in there, and this should go through the hole on the bottom, and then I could glue it so it stays in place. And I'll probably put a little of this around the top just to cover it. Um, and I put a hook, a bigger hook on <laughs> there, and it was silver, so what I did was just put gold rub and buff so it kind of wasn't so... The, the color's a little off on the golds, but it's not that blaring silver. So, yeah, when we hang it up, it should be fine in the sunlight. Um, so let's put our flower in. Like I said, I'm going to put it in so it goes through the hole in the middle. And we could just glue it right there so it doesn't move. So just so you could see, it literally just came out the bottom and I put glue there and I'm letting the glue gun, the glue dry <laughs> from the glue gun. That's what I use, the glue gun. And so that when it dries, then that should kind of stay in the middle and it shouldn't move around so much. Just so I could show you hanging up. Look at the pretty decorations it makes on the wall. I just hung it, you know, so I could show you um, what it looks like. There's our fairy charm. So I, I love it. Hold on, I'll turn on the lights. 
Okay, so there it is in all its glory. Um, I'm just hanging it here for you. And yeah, it came out great. It does really match with the rub and buff on the silver uh, metal that I did. So it worked out perfect, I think. I love it. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. I just wanted to show you what the light's off. And you can hang, uh, you can put a real succulent in there, I'm sure, or a cactus or something. I wouldn't put the lights with it then. But you could just hang it just like that. Um, just do a few drain holes. Um, just like we did. And put a real succulent in there. Just don't put the lights. And that's it. And just for fun, guys, I took a bow clip. And I literally just clipped it on. Because you know I love my bows. And it just, I just love this whole idea. It came out so good. A big thank you again for Ozzy Christine for becoming a member. And thanks to all of you for watching. We'll see you on the next Crafting with Chris.